Hello everyone. Today I'll demonstrate how to upgrade Postgres version using KeepDB inside Kubernetes cluster. So let's look into our uh, Postgres YML that we are going to deploy. So here is our uh, Postgres instance YML that we are going to deploy. So you can see that the web version here is V1 Alpha 2. Then here is the version 11.11, which are actually going to upgrade with the latest one. And here is replica three, so that means that we are going to create a three node replica uh, Postgres cluster. And the standby mode here is hot, and here is uh, the storage class uh, like uh, storage class durable. And here is the storage spec. And here is our transmission policy wipeout. That uh, that's means when we are going to delete this instance, it will delete all the resources that it has been created with it, like secret PCC and etc. Now let's just look into our upgrade YML. So here you can see that. Uh, so this is our actually uh, Postgres obstacles to YML that we are going to deploy uh, to upgrade uh, our Postgres uh, instance version. So here you can see that the IVF version here is ops.qtb.com here on alpha 2. And here is the kind version Postgres ops request and the name PC upgrade, the name space demo. Then here you can see that the type is upgrade as we are going to upgrade from uh, upgrade of, upgrade from a uh, lower version to an upper version. So the type uh, here is upgrade. And the database reference here is demo PG. And you can see that it, here is the target version, the, the in which version we are going to upgrade. Like from 11 to 11.11, 11 .11, we're going to upgrade to 13.2. So in our um, QTB, in our QTB uh, uh, official website, you can see the list of uh, version upgradable uh, version upgradable versions. So if we just go to our uh, version 11.11, then you can see that uh, from 11.11, we can upgrade to 11.14, which is actually minor version. And we can also upgrade to latest version, like major versions. Then you can see that here is the versions 12.6 and 13.2. So uh, you can see that we can upgrade to 13.2 from 11.11. So that's possible from QTB. So uh, now let's just uh, try to apply this demo PG YML. So here you can see that I have created uh, the uh, uh, demo pg postgres instance and it is now in provisioning state let's just wait for this uh, status to be ready so that we can connect to our database and uh, it is now not exiting any uh, connection so we need to for connecting to our database we need to wait until the status is going to be ready so for now let's just wait So here you can see that the status is now ready. So let's uh, now find out which pod is actually our uh, primary. So we'll just get the pod uh, IP addresses here and then get the endpoints here. So you can see that here are three endpoints like demo PG, demo PG ports, and demo PG standby. Demo PG actually pointing to the current primary. Uh, here is the current primary IP, and demo PG ports actually uh, pointing to the all the ports uh, like the demo PG zero, demo PG one, demo PG two, and demo PG standby here is uh, pointing to pointing towards like uh, the other two port uh, rather than uh, the primary. So yeah. Like uh, if uh, here, the, if here demo PG one is primary, then other are going to be standby. If uh, demo PG zero is primary, then demo PG one and demo PG two is going to be a replica or standby. So now let's just check uh, demo PG. Uh, if we just check into demo PG endpoints, here you can see that the IP address match with the demo PG zero's IP address. So we can say that demo PG zero is our current primary. We can also check the logs. And you can see that from the log that demo PG zero is uh, data system is ready to accept connection. So this one is actually our current primary. So let's now just exit into our uh, primary port. Then SQL here. Now uh, create a database here. Like test. So you can see that we have successfully created the database. Uh, uh, 
now let's show the uh, version here so select version so you can see that the postgres sql version here is 11.11 so let's now just eject from here now we're going to deploy this uh, upgrade uh, postgres uh, of request uh, with which we are going to upgrade our postgres database let's just apply upgrade ml here So you can see that uh, the Postgres uh, obstacles is terminating for uh, demo PG zero, and the status is, is not ready. <clears throat> so here you can see the Postgres obstacles. Uh, status here is progressing so let's just wait for this issues to be successful so that we can uh, finally say that the uh, postgres has been successfully updated so you can see that the uh, port uh, demo pg0 has been back in uh, cluster again now uh, it's going to like uh, Treat all the pod uh, smartly and upgrade uh, with our QTV operator. So you can see that uh, now our QTV uh, enterprise of uh, request of manager operator is going to uh, like uh, update the second one. Here is demo PG one terminating, and now you can see that the status is critical and the uh, postgres of sql sister is focusing so if we just let, let's just try to exit into our demo pg0 let's connect via p scale if we just select version here then you can see that we have already upgraded the uh, demo pg0 ports uh, so here is the version 13.2 uh, and now we can also check the if we have if we check the database here listed listed the database here you can see that the test and database still exists so we can say that we haven't faced any data loss issue here so let's just uh, exit into another port like demo pg demo pg one then do same uh, let's check the version from here. So you can see that the demo pg1 has been also updated now let's just wait for the demo pg2 to be up, uh, up, terminated and restart and get back to cluster with the updated image so you can see that it is now running but the status is still critical and this one is actually progressing so it is it hasn't finished yet so let's just wait for the demo pg2 to join the cluster Now you can see that the upgrade status here is successful. So you can finally say that all the all the three ports has been up, upgraded properly. And you can also check the Postgres status here is ready. So yeah, it's uh, now ready to use. So here you can also see that the replica, uh, the test uh, database has been also available in replica. So we haven't faced any data loss issue. So let's just check the other port. So you can see that this one has been also updated. So we can finally say that we have successfully upgraded our uh, Postgres uh, clusters versions from 11.1 on to 30.2. That's all from my side. Thank you, everyone.